that. So McLeod's been working on a new main. He's a Daisy main now. But knowing how often he switches characters, this might not last till the end of next week, but you know. If he wins this tournament, probably stick with it. Caleb showing a reasonable amount of dominance in the beach matchup before, so we'll see if he can carry that over to this game one on FD, that's interesting. Would not have thought. And McLeod, for whatever reason, started knitting. And, oh, it's just warm up. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Why they would warm up on FD, though, I will never know. the rationale behind going to FD against Peach is? I guess the idea being McLeod kills you regardless, so might as well go to FD. Yeah. versus Falcon Edgeguard where Peach doesn't want to go off stage but at the same time Falcon doesn't have anything to grab the ledge for free so she kind of just gets to bullying him off there. Kind of fortunate because otherwise this matchup would be hell in a lot of spots. If Falcon could just upbeat a ledge like Marth or something. Good gentleman, Nee. Easy clean up of the stock. Ooh. Uh, that's not a spot you want to be in, but somehow sneaks under. I don't know if that's McLeod fucking up or what, but he cleans it up, takes the stock. It's the beautiful thing about Falcon is even though he's out, he's never really out, and you can still just hit him sometimes. I'm shocked that grab didn't hit, my god. Facing from the cloud. Good old drive by knee, you gotta do it sometimes. The cloud goes for the will D, forgets that Caleb just had about five minutes of down smashing the ledge, so he's not gonna fall for that. Oh well, no, the eye, he lives it. Can't believe that. Interesting Falcon kick from the corner. It worked, but like, to what end? Surprised McLeod didn't go for more reverse back as there. He might have, well, you get the dash track into some stuff. So he got him off stage, and really that's probably what, better than risking another 50 50. Back there, yeah. Caleb waits. He's played enough Peach. He knows. Uh, but has he fought the ledge enough? Part of the boss in this game. Oh, that's a big knee all of a sudden. He's, you know, two hits away from evening this game up after all that. That was a good power shield, doesn't get a grab for it though. Oh, he's gonna get killed! Oh, Caleb doesn't turn around near him. Interesting. And that might cost him the game, yeah. Can't be making mistakes like that on FD and click to win. Oh! I'm glad forgetting that Nair is the best of them always. He just likes forward airing people, I think. 
Not gonna do it? No, Peach is heavy. Yeah, good edge guard from Caleb, honestly. Because it's been weird. His edge guards have been pretty solid, but it's the like conversions in like that where it only gets one hit and you're just like, ah, oh, you probably need more than that. Yeah, that's gonna be game one. Far too good on FD, despite the no chain grab. So I guess that's the rationale is if I'm not gonna get grabbed, might as well go to FD. Yeah. Caleb's got it all over him at the start of this game. Uh, he needed to be way faster on that. Okay, get this. Just gets up there. Surprised he didn't go for up there there. That's such a good spot to go for up there. Just kind of stops Peach from trying anything. The knee gets a kill, but like. Puts Peach in a very precarious spot off stage with that. Or you get like a 50 50 to grab ledge when she goes down or not. Another way. And, yeah. Oh, that, that's rough for Caleb. Let's see if we can clean out the stock or if my card's just gonna start racking on the damage. Uh, big forward air. Kill gets out of there for now. Up there, doesn't kill, yeah. Price didn't neither. I'd imagine the mindset is up there will kill, but if there's anything up there hasn't been doing this set, it's killing. Right, finally cleans it up with the back air. Didn't take too much for that, but you know. 40 is good damage. This matchup for bitch. It looks like Caleb can just get up from the ledge. He's trying to get way too fancy with it. Like, the Cloud's giving him the respect. Probably because he knows he's more likely to, you know, cause damage to Falcon when he's invincible than Caleb is. Like, what's the point of threatening the edge if you're the one killing yourself? But Caleb should probably realize that the Cloud's backing off a fair bit. He can just do a hack, one hack stash, and then go from there instead of doing like three and messing up the third one. Yeah, really yeah, there. He really needed that, and yeah. The cloud does not give you freebies like that. Well, that was a really good turn of fight. And somehow he sneaks out of that gentleman. Good STI up, I guess. Just been in the situation enough times that he gets the hell out of there. Ah, uh, yeah. And now he's got the turnip game going, but... It doesn't work out for him. I guess he got him in a back dash or something, because he's not holding a good direction there. Uh, yeah, that was probably one he needed to do the hack stash, so... Oh. Gets out of there. Big knee, yeah. Ah. That's unfortunate. Alright. Quite up to low. Uh, unexpected, but still. Yeah, back to stadium. Particularly with it being frozen, there's no reason not to. <laughs> oh, the deck I walk. It's been a while since I've seen a page do that. Yes. Oh, big. No, is he gonna finish it? No. I feel like one of Caleb's problems with edge guards is he tries too hard to focus on a spot and not let them pass, but like sooner or later he has to give up on it and they get back. He's not, like, he doesn't throw himself out there the way someone like Nun would. He doesn't just go for a 50-50 knowing 
So they get a hit or miss, he's just playing conservative. And it's like there's a spot for that, but. Uh, Edge guards where Peaches off stage at 60. Ain't it? Uh, yeah. Sucking cannot recover, save his life, and gets snared for it. Okay, yeah. Important that Kev played that up because McLeod is definitely one knockdown away from running away with this game. Shocked he got that nair through. Oh, okay, Caleb well, did not grab the ledge. Oh, no. Alright, he rolls away. Uh, that was a really good nair. Realized that the down smashes were coming. Placed around it correctly. Big SDI though on the knee. Oh, there you go. You don't have to go far off stage against Peach. You just have to go far enough that, you know, the up air is going to connect regardless of what she does. Uh, side B does not grab the edge. This is not PM. Or ultimate. Not any of the games that Nintendo does not want you streaming. But in this one, uh, good back air though. I guess covering the space paid off eventually, but... If I can just grab out of the air, you forget he's got a mark grab somewhere in his little T-Rex arms. So he does that sort of thing. Alright, yeah. Off stage. Runs the high turn up, but throws it way too high to do anything. And McLeod's very all or nothing. Oh, jeez. Um, very all or nothing with his knee. The eye. He's either SDRing it up and in, or he's just holding down and praying that he gets the ups attack or something. Alright, yeah. This, that's a little bit better from Caleb, edge guard wise. Like, he was at least threatening to, like, jump out there and immediately end the stock with an up arrow or something. Whereas before he was just kind of, like, sitting around going, oh, you know, you can land on stage. Cloud, a little bit frustrated there, you can tell. He's not like fighting the man that back there is in place. You know. Sometimes that shit's real hard to get around. You gotta do what you gotta do to win. I'm like, no one complains when the Fox main does that four times in a row. Actually, that's not true at all, but you know. Big back air. I had to get something for off that and he gets hit for it, so he's looking a rough for Caleb. Well that's a big stomp though and he gets knocked. Ooh, is that gonna do it? Not quite. Good reverse up there though. Oh that's yeah. Okay, he gets back. Oh, and that's gonna do it. No contest. Should have Catherine Kai next, I think. 